Hey guys, if you're running out of space on your iPhone, iPad, or Touch, it's all the same. This is the fix for you. So the very first thing that I see that takes a lot of space on people's iDevices is usually videos and photos because you guys have a ton of them in there. So what I suggest is to do is on Google Photos right here, just download that app and back up everything there. So that means all your photos will be online. Now I suggest Google Photos because it's free. So you guys can keep all your videos, pictures right on Google Photos and it's gonna be free, it's unlimited. So you don't have to pay with iCloud, for example, that you do have to pay for those 50 gigs that they give you, that monthly rate. There's no need with Google Photos and Google Photos works really well with iDevices. So that's one fix, okay? So that's what I do. Now, you may be thinking, well, wouldn't that just transfer my pictures to Google Photos and that still takes up the same space? No, it's actually gonna keep them online. And what you guys see right here are gonna be thumbnails. So if you guys want to view the pictures in full HD, that means you guys will have to have internet in order to view these pictures. All right, so it's keeping things online. So that's kind of what we're doing if you download Google Photos. Second thing that you guys have to do is clean up your stuff. So that means going to settings. Under settings, scroll down where it says general, then scroll down, you guys will see iPhone storage. Or if you guys have an iPad, iPod, same deal, you guys will see that storage right there. Tap on it, this will load up. And right here, we're gonna see the biggest apps that we have and what's taking up a lot of space. So what I can see right now is Fortnite's taking up three gigs. And that's too much. I'm going on vacation. I need that space for videos and everything. I'm gonna have to delete that app. However, let's say you guys don't want to delete the app. You're kind of deleting it when you put it offload app because the app icon still stays on your phone, but it's not gonna take up this space. So once you're back from your trip, for example, you guys want that app back, you guys can just reinstall it. So I'm gonna do that for this app just to show you guys what happens. So I'm gonna put offload app. So you guys will see how much this takes. So see that zero kilobyte. So I'm gonna go back to my phone. We're gonna take a look at that Fortnite app. And right now you guys might see it's really small, but beside it, there's a cloud icon and downloading thing. So that means I can't open this app. So if I try to open that app, it's gonna actually re-download the app. So see how it's re-downloading it? So I'm gonna stop that for now. I'm gonna go back here. So you don't really have to delete your apps if you're going on a vacation. However, if you want to permanently delete the app, yeah, just do it from here, delete app. You guys can also delete it other ways, obviously by just holding your finger on top of an app slightly until it starts to wiggle. You guys see that X, you guys can delete it from here like that, right? So I can go ahead and just tap on that X and delete it. All right, if you guys have a newer iPhone, you guys would just swipe up on your screen and you're done. If you guys have a home button on your phone, just tap on the home button and then you're done. So let's just go back into settings. Under settings, we're gonna go back on this and we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna see what's going on. Some of these apps you guys will not need, definitely. So this is the space where you guys should see which ones are taking the most space and just deleting them or offloading Let's say if you guys are going on vacation, that's usually the comments I get. They're going on vacation, so you guys want some space or free up some space. This is the fastest way to do it. Or there might be even files that I don't need. So right here I can see files, it's taking up a gig. I can offload this thing for now. And again, I'm not erasing anything really, but I will have to re-download it so I can access these files. Anyways guys, if you really like to take 4K videos for example, However, you might not even view them in 4K because that's really high definition. Again, under your settings, if you guys go there, scroll down until you guys see camera, which is right here. I can just tap on it. I can set up my video recording default not to be 4K. Maybe 1080 is good enough. And 1080 will take up way less space than a 4K video. So if you guys are watching your videos on a 4K TV, sure. The, this will be great if you guys can do that. However, if you guys can't afford the space, just go for 1080. 1080 looks great. Most monitors out there are still 1080, and there's a ton of people that still have 1080 TVs regardless. If you guys are posting those videos on Facebook and social media in general, 1080 is more than good enough. 4K is not even necessary. So 
you guys can set that up as well that's another tip I'm gonna put it back at 4k because that's what I use all the time and right here you guys can do other custom stuff like this so this really depends on you guys I'm gonna switch back to 1080 and there we go so that's my last thing that I want to say about your storage obviously it's about you guys just deleting some apps that you might not need and just transferring all those photos and videos into Google Photos does help a lot. Again, it's free, that's why I'm saying to do that. However, sure, you guys could just go to with iCloud, which I don't suggest. But anyways, that's it for this video tutorial. If you guys have any questions, comments, you guys can write them down here in the comments area. And don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.